Hey guys, new week, new vlog. Um, we are off to town to find something for our fun Friday video. I have no clue what I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna wander the aisles. I have to go to Walmart because my husband wants those ranch chicken wings. And I may go to Walgreens because I think I have something to take back to Walgreens. And that's probably all I'm gonna do. Hopefully I will find something because I don't want to have to go into town further. So anyways, I'll check back in when we get some. I forgot something. <laughs> um, someone told me on, it was a comment on a video. And I think it was last week's vlog where I said that my, the reason I had three nails off is because that they seem to have had air pockets underneath them. And they said that I should take a Ziploc bag and put it over the nail and then press down and it gets all the air pockets out. I don't really understand how that works. How is putting a bag over the nail, does it just make it so you can push down harder and move your finger around? And they said put it tight. I don't really get that either. <laughs> does, the, does the glue that seeps out not stick to a, to a baggie? I don't know if you guys know of a video or something showing us showing me how to do that please link it in the comments I appreciate somebody telling me that but I don't get how to do it or I don't get how it's gonna work but if it's just to so that you can push down all the way without getting gluing your other finger I do that a lot glue my other finger when I'm holding it down I think okay I, don't, I didn't get any glue on me and then I go to pull it off and it's like ah, I did so yeah, if you know of a video showing how to do that, or you just want to explain it, I would appreciate it very much. Okay, now I will check back in when we get somewhere. Walmart, which you'll see footage of. <laughs> um, I got the wings and stuff, but I did not. Let me turn off the heater because that always blows on you guys. Makes too much noise. So at Walmart, they the makeup I want to try. Um, it's not new. It's really old, actually. But it's a dewy finish, and I remember a lot of people liked it. And since we've been looking for something, because winter time, this winter time, this year seems like it's really dry. I mean, I know it's been dry in the past, but I don't remember my makeup changing so much to where, it, you know, and it's not really colder, that's for sure. It's cold, but it's not any colder than it ever is. They didn't have my color. They had classic ivory, but when I held it up to my hand, it just looked too pink. So we're gonna go to Walgreens and see if they have it there. I did not find anything for Fun Friday, though. Hopefully, I'll find something at Walgreens. Anyways, what would you guys like me to start doing if I can't find anything for Fun Friday? Get ready with me where I do the whole face? I don't know. Leave it in the comments below because I'm really having difficulty. There's, like, no new gadgets or anything. So, I don't know what we're going to do. I guess you'll have already seen it, though, because this goes up on Sunday and... I'll have to find something for Fun Friday. If it's a get ready with me, then you'll know I couldn't find anything. Okay, I did find a couple of foundations. I found the one that I wanted to get that I said, did I tell you what it was? It is the um, 
infallible, the L'Oreal infallible, but it's the dewy one. Pro Glow. It's the Pro Glow one. I've never tried this one. And I remember a lot of people had this on their best list like in 2017. And since it's been so dry and the matte ones have been kind of getting cakey, I thought we'd try this one. But I also got the new CoverGirl Outlast Active Wear. It's supposed to be sweat proof. We could give it a try. We don't even have to get active, huh? And then I got, this is a new CoverGirl Lip Vinyl. So we're going to try this too. And that's all for next week. Except I didn't get anything for a fun Friday. So I still don't know what we're going to do on Friday. We may have to go to town again. And I don't want to go to town again. So anyway, I'll check back in later. Hey guys, back in the car again. Okay, well, we're off to town again. I didn't get, oh, you guys know, I didn't get anything for our fun Friday video yesterday. So now I have to go back to town. I don't want to go to town, but I have to find something. So here we go again. Um, I'm going to go to TJ Maxx and just see if we can find some sort of gizmo or some sort of new weird thing to try. If not, we're going to do a get ready with me. That's why I have no makeup on because it's like, if I can't find something, because it's Thursday, I have to have it done, edited, and ready to go up first thing tomorrow morning. So, if I don't find anything, I'm just going to come home. We're going to do a get ready with me. I was thinking maybe I would do like a get ready with me using like all Catrice or all L'Oreal or all, I don't know. I have, um have quite a bit of Catrice. I have a foundation, I have a highlighter, I have a brow pencil. I don't have a, a powder. Wait a minute, what's, oh, my powder is Essence, but maybe I'll get, maybe we'll go to Ulta too. I don't know, let's see. First we're gonna go to Target because it's way more fun and see if I can find something there. If not, we'll zoom down to Ulta and I think I want to do Catrice just because I know I have a foundation that's Catrice and that way it's kind of something that's affordable. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I actually took you guys in with me but then I decided not to record because there was a lot of people in there. I went to Ulta and I got enough stuff I think to do a full face of Catrice because I found no gadgets. But then I went to TJ Maxx. And I will show you everything I got from TJ Maxx and Ulta when I get home. But I just wanted to show you this little bad boy because I thought it was so pretty. Let me see if I can take the tag off so I can show you. Isn't that pretty? That was clearanced for 20 bucks. So, anyways, I thought it was super cool. It has, I don't know what, I'm, I'm gonna wear it during the videos, but I can't make a video about it, even though it is fun. So, I will stop this here. I still have to go to Walmart. Um, I definitely won't take you in there because all I'm going to get is uh, a couple things because I'm in town. It's like we don't even really need that much. I'm going to get some more of those ranch chicken wings because we really like those. And then we're going to and I'm going to get some naked chicken wings, you know, the kind that aren't cooked. And we're going to try and make them ourselves. So that's what we're going to do tonight is make ranch chicken wings. I will check back in probably later, maybe not till Saturday because maybe tomorrow um, and I'll show you everything I got otherwise maybe I'll do it when I get home but I still have to make tomorrow's video tonight so I definitely will do it when I get home because I don't want to open all the Catrice stuff until you see what I got right okay okay, okay guys I'm home and I wanted to show you what I got at TJ Maxx besides my beautiful ring I got two of these Conjac sponges. Remember in the how to wash your face and make the soap? I said you need to get the Conjac sponges that are hard. 
These are hard. This one's like a pink color and this one, this one looks like a charcoal one. This, they're both Conject sponges. Cause see underneath it says e-punge and then it says Conject Curette. So wherever they come from, oh, it says made in China, South Korea. Made in South Korea. But that's not Korean writing on the back. Anyways, I got two sponges and they were $3.99 each. So that's a good price for them. I also got this orange pineapple um, smoothie. And this is a shampoo, shower gel, bubble bath. I'm going to use it as a shower gel. It smells amazing. It smells like those 50-50 bars. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like orange pineapple smoothie. Just like those dull pineapple ones that you get at Disneyland. It smells so good. And I got that. That was $8.99. Nope, that was $11.99. So it was kind of pricey. And I don't know who makes it. And then I got these. I thought these were so cute. I'm on a cat kick because I want a cat so bad. They're bookends. And the cats have glasses on. And they have little magnifying glasses. And then in up there you can see there's writing on the books. And they were $7.99. This one's like standing up. This guy is reading the book. I thought they were so cool. But, you know, I'm just weird. I have a thing for bookends. I like to buy. I told my kids, whenever you need to buy me something and you don't know what to buy me and you find some bookends, because they're usually really, really affordable. Okay, also at, at uh, TJ Maxx, I got this Becca. Becca and Chrissy Cravings Lip Icing Glow Gloss Kit. And hopefully they are not open. They don't look like it. They look like they're all, because that's the only problem I have with buying things at um, TJ Maxx, their makeup, is that a lot of times they're already opened, but they all look sealed. They don't look like they've been opened. So I hope so. Anyways, we're going to be trying that out. Um, I think that's it. This is the box for my ring. That is it from TJ Maxx. Now, at Ulta, I got this, because these are on sale, and this is the purple shampoo, because I was out. Um, I was gonna get it from my hair lady, and actually, I asked her to get it, but she usually forgets. So, I went ahead and got this, because it was on sale. This was $15.99. So, but if she gets it, I'll just get more from her, because my hair's gonna stay this color for a long time, so I'll be needing it forever. And then I went, I did, oh, I also got this because I actually love the, like the fluorescent pastels. I don't know if you guys can see what color it is, but it's like a, it's like a fluorescent salmon color, kind of a chiffon. And I opened it up and it looked like it is the same color because a lot of times they're not, but it looks like it is. So hopefully it is. And it's a gel polish. And it's the same kind. I like these little tiny bottles because I never use enough, you know, one color that many times to use it up. Okay, and then I was going to do a full face of Catrice, which is what I'm going to do in here in a minute for Friday's Fun Friday video. So I needed a primer. And since I knew I was going to be using the um, HD Liquid, whatever it's called, the... Catrice HD Liquid Foundation. It's very matte, and since it's winter time and super cold and super dry, I got the Nude Glow Primer. And I've got hot wings under my fingernails. My husband was making wings when I got home, and he was making me try them. So anyways, I got the Nude Glow from Catrice. Everything I got is from Catrice. And then I had to get, I got the Banana light illusion loose powder for setting powder i'm probably going to use it on my eyes and my face because i didn't want to buy two and then i got the catrice prime and fine contouring palette i may use that one then i won't even have to open that one huh i didn't even think of that i don't know if that's a highlight i don't think so because it's a contour palette i don't know
No, it's not. You may use that one and then not even open this. Although I like banana powder, so I just didn't need any of this stuff. Um, the only blush they had was this strobing. So I have this and then I already had a Catrice highlight that I really like. So I got that. And then I got, for eyeshadow, I got this, the Essential Nude Collection. I don't know if you guys, can you see the colors? They're so cool because they have a really dark brown up here and then a really light here. And then they've got both mattes and shimmers in here. I thought, and they're all kind of a nudie brown tones. I thought it seemed like a perfect for me. And then I didn't have a clue about, I don't remember ever hearing anyone talk about their mascara. So, you know what I didn't get? Oh, I did. <laughs> I was going to say I didn't get a liner, but I did. I got this because they didn't seem to have, uh, Catrice doesn't have a, a pencil, a gel pencil, because that's what I wanted. So I got this um, gel liner, and I'll just use that. I don't know if I can smudge it though. Anyways, I don't know if they have, they had like three or four different kinds of mascara and I haven't seen anyone talk about the mascara. So I got the one with the prettiest packaging. And this is the Rock Couture Extreme Volume Mascara Waterproof. I probably didn't need waterproof, but I didn't want to put my glasses on. So I just got the one that was pretty. Can you see? The writing is like blue, blue metal on a black thing. I don't see a seal. Oh, there we go. Let's see what the brush looks like. Oh, it's thick. It's a very thick brush with little tiny bristles. Maybe it's perfect, who knows. So we'll try that out. And then I got this. This is a vitamin lip treatment. And it's tinted. And I thought it was perfect. Oh, it's pretty clear. Maybe I have a Catrice. Um, hopefully I have a Catrice lipstick in there because I can't tell if that's It smells a little watermelony. This is Born to Be Wild Berry. I don't know, can you see it? It, it looks clear, pretty clear on my hand. So that may be a, a dud. I mean, not a dud, it's probably good. It's just no color. So anyways, that's everything I got. And I am going to end this vlog right now. I hope I have enough footage. I'm sure I do though. It might just be short. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Stay cool.